Hi everyone and welcome to the latest edition of Pompey Women Vlogs. We're back at Wesley Park for Pompey Women versus Plymouth Argyle in the league. What a lovely day at Wesley Park Abbey for this big game, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's, def it's a big opportunity today to get our hand really on the title and to go and get promotion. So, yeah, I'm just really excited. Hopefully, Bobby can get a win. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't actually win, mathematically win the league today, but we'll put a league table up. What Pompey can do by winning is um, basically, like Abby said, get one hand on that title because unless there's a massive swing in goal difference and Pompey lose all their remaining games, they're basically the title's ours with three more points. So we know the team are really hungry. We had a nil-nil draw where MK Dons. The team did anything but score, didn't they, Debbie, yeah. last week? Yeah, I know. So, like, we had like loads of possession in the final third but just couldn't grab a goal. Yeah, so like 60 odd attacks, 30 shots, um, ooh, 60 odd attacks, 30 shots. We just couldn't find a way through. And sometimes that happens in football, yeah. doesn't it? But you just well, have these stalemates. Well, yeah, sometimes it's just not your day, and you just, it, well, you're going to have that. Like, we're not going to win every game 100, well, 10 0. Like, it's just not going to happen. But the girls have been so good this year. What it, it's enabled us to do is build that little bit of a buffer. So if we have an off game, uh, you know, it doesn't ruin our season. And they've got a chance to put it right today. And I know they're going to be really hungry to go out there and get the three points today. So the lineup's out. Should we see you starting for Pompey today? Yeah. Our starting lineup today in goal, Captain Hannah Horton, Nicole Barrett, Danny Lane, Reva Castley, Izzy Collins, Georgie Freeland, Lita Rutherford, Ali Hall, Daisy McLachlan, Emma Jones, and Sophie Quirk. Our subs today are Scarlett Williams, Ava Robotham, Tierney Scott, Ella Humphrey, and Emily Pittman. So, Abby, a couple of changes today. Any surprises there? Yeah, well, he's obviously done a couple of rotations today, and that's going to be quite obvious as like it's coming to the end of the season now, and we want to use all our players to all their potential and make sure everyone has good minutes under their belt. So, yeah. Yeah, just like the men's team, you've got to use your squad, don't you? You don't win a league with just 11 players, you've got to rotate players in and out. And yeah, so no surprises to see some changes um, yeah. today. So, yeah. Exciting game, really looking forward to it. Not sure how big the crowd will be today. Hopefully, no. with the day being so nice, we'll get quite a big crowd here. Yeah. Um, we love the Fratton games. Obviously, they're quite special, but this is our home, and it is it has a special feeling playing here. So yeah. it's always great to be back at Wesley Park. So the players are warming up. They're just about to finish. Um, yeah, let's see how the girls get on in the first half. Oh, 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 oh,
Okay, half time here, Portsmouth to Plymouth nil. Abby, what are your thoughts? I think, yeah, it was a really good half, and I feel like we did the same things as we did at MK Dons, but we find ourselves 2 0 up now and not like because like last time we played like yeah last week against mk i mean we were finding ourselves nil nil and we had the same amount of chances as we did today if i'm honest if even not more at mk and yeah. it's just but we find ourselves two nil up at plymouth like it's funny how football works yeah very similar game hasn't it and just yeah. You know, we the first goal was a really good goal, and the second one was a bit fortunate with the deflection. But just goes to show, like we had all those attempts at MK, two very similar games. Yet we find ourselves two nil up here, uh, and last week finished nil nil. It's just that's just how football works. Some days it's just not your day. But going back to today, um, we came out the blocks firing, and yeah. look, Plymouth are not a bad side. They're a good team, but. I've had people say to me this year, like, like are, the, are the league just full of bad teams then? Is that why Pompey are doing so well? That's absolutely That's not the case. Good. The case is that we are just really, really good. And we are so physically fit. Because if you think about like hashtag Ipswich, Oxford, they're all really good teams. And rugby, they're all really good teams. Like, But we're just obviously really good as well. Yeah, I think one of the big things are fitness levels. Yeah, so as soon as um, Plymouth play out from the back, we close them down. So oh, they yeah. have no time on the ball at all. And we, we can keep that up for 90 minutes. Whereas a lot, I don't think many sides in our league can do that. We're yeah. definitely the fittest side in our division. Well, it's um, obviously showing off. Like Jay obviously drilling into them. Like at training, maybe they're doing like runs and stuff. And it's just like really high intensity training. Yeah, well, we know that, don't we? Having spoke exactly. to Jay, we know that that's a big thing that Jay does. It's the fitness levels of the players. Exactly. And games like this just shows it. We, we just look so good. And yeah. Sophie, Sophie's brilliant down that left-hand side again. Yeah, oh, God, yeah. But yeah, I mean, we can't ask for any more. Winning the game today all but seals the title. And the players know that. And they, they wanted to come out and put that MK result behind them as soon as possible. And they've done that. Now it's about professionalism, isn't it? Exactly. Keeping the pressure on, keep and, on and just keep another half like that. I think just keep our heads on, just stay focused on our goal to get three points today, and I think we'll be all right. Yeah, let's see how the girls got on in the second half. Bulgaria. Go, Go, Thank you. 
Okay, full time here, Portsmouth 3, Plymouth 0. Uh, we've just managed to grab manager Jay Sadler of his thoughts, so let's hear what Jay had to say. Okay, joined on the vlog by manager Jay Sadler. Jay, probably not our best performance of the season, but ultimately, like the men's team at this time of the year, it's just about getting the job done, isn't it? 100%, and, and do you know what? It reminded me a lot of yesterday in terms of dominating the ball. Um, probably needed, for us, needed to play with a little bit more patience and a little bit more ball speed at times to try and break through a block. But essentially Plymouth have come here with a game plan to nullify space essentially, give us wide areas, lock us into wide areas and we just needed to be a bit crisper and cleaner with our details. But essentially first 15 minutes and um, we said to the girls, we need to go and take a chance early because we didn't do it against MK and we don't want the game filtering out and, and getting to the later stages. But I think all in all, professional is probably the, the, right, the right word to describe it. Yeah, we we were saying that actually it had a lot it felt so similar to mk where they're sitting off us um i think the early goal scared them a bit didn't it they're like hang on we don't want to lose heavily here so they sat back even more but this week unlike last week we actually found a way through so you must be pleased with your team just uh you know to put that mk don's disappointment aside and just come out here and start as fast as we did today yeah 100 um, but what i don't want us to do is slow down i want us to continue going through the gears and be more ruthless um, and play with purpose from minute minute one all the way through to minute 90. Um, you can't just win a game inside the first 15 it's you have to go throughout the whole so that's probably the challenge to the group but what we also need to do is accept that teams are going to come and sit off us now and nullify spaces and in a way that they're respecting us and showing what quality we have i know ryan has got a very young team today. Um, I think it was an average age of 18, a lot of oh, youngsters wow. playing. So massive kudos to him and the whole group for, for obviously putting a, a fair challenge up against us. Um, and we just had to break them down slowly. And I think we did that. A few players are coming away frustrated, probably not getting their goal. And there was moments where we could have been a little bit more proactive. But ultimately at this stage of the season, yes, we're performance driven. But when you're at the business end, you need to win games of football. And at one end, we, we've scored three. And at the other end, we, we've never looked like they were going to harm us. So overall, another clean sheet and another win towards our end goal. Bar a uh, swinging goal difference, which probably would need to be investigated by the FA. It pretty much secures <laughs> us a league title, doesn't it? Um, what's the mentality like? Because next weekend, we don't play. Hashtag do. If they don't beat Ipswich, you're going to win the league without playing. Um, how's that gone down with the girls that they've realised that and what's going to be the challenge for the last two games? Yeah, so I think everyone's spoken about how you could win the league when you're not playing and it's not been here eight years, you've followed the club for a long, long time. You could give it me tomorrow, you could give it next week, whenever it comes, we'll celebrate. Of course we will, because um, we'll, that's the, the peak of the success. But I think as a group, we we'll want to get the group together. So we are going to do something next week, probably with all staff and all players. Um, and maybe look to get the fans involved as well. And, and what I don't want to do is us all be separate because we're one big family um, from fans to volunteers um, to the players to the staff we want to be together and enjoy it if it was to happen and if not then we stay focused and we're professional enough to know that we've got two games left against Cheltenham and Bees and in the huddle at the end we, we, we've set ourselves a target six points um, we're not here now to, to rest on our laurel or to take the foot off the gas um, the standards are probably going to increase even more so knowing that um, there's there's such magnitude at stake to get to the next level and then to stay there that's going to be the big one and I know there's a lot of players and staff here that want to be a part of it um, so we're going to have to keep keep putting our foot on the gas and keep trying to play in, in the highest kind of gear we can. Well you've done arguably you've done all the hard work now haven't you I know you're not your mentality isn't that but from a fan's point of view we've done the hard work and you're really going to be able to enjoy that London Bees home game uh, where you know you'll be presented with the trophy assuming they'll present it in the last home game won't they so uh, London Bees so um 
what have you what can you say to fans who are thinking about coming along for that last home game because i think it could be quite a special occasion couldn't it yeah and i'm hoping it will be a whole club celebration as well um not just for the women we're obviously watching eagerly on on with the men hoping they, they secure promotion too um and i think that's reciprocated from them to us and it's on the 125th anniversary on the what a season um, to do a double and <laughs> and for, for dave coyle to be in, inducted into the hall of fame as well it's kind of like it's a lot of things that are happening this season which makes it even more special um as you said feet are on the ground we still mathematically need a point which you can say the champagne's on ice, but our mentality is we want to get the six. Um, we won't relax until we do. Um, and when or if it, it, it obviously happens, um, yeah, we'll probably we'll probably let our guard down and, and enjoy it for sure. You deserve. Well, thanks for joining us on the vlog. And Thank you very we'll much. See you next time. See you next time. Cheers. So those are the thoughts of manager Jay Sadler. Um, obviously, Jay has the approach of bit either gaffer in and hit him with the the squad. Their mentality is that they want to win every single game. They don't care about like sort of when we win it and then we just stop performing. Their mentality is that they want to win every single game. But Abby, what were your thoughts on the game today? Well, like I said at the start of the match, all like the point of today is to get it coming get three points and go home and we've done that today and we're one big step forward to promotion and winning the title so yeah we'll put a copy of the league table up and any other results today so yeah they, it basically takes Pompey on the brink now they'd have to be um, um, Pompey'd have to lose all their games hashtag win all theirs and they'd have to be a massive goal swing uh, it's not going to happen Pompey are going to win the league um, they might do as early as next weekend when hashtag take on Ipswich um, we don't play so if hashtag don't beat it's rich will win the league next weekend other than that it's going to be Cheltenham away um, we still don't know when the trophy is going to be presented we've asked the club to let us know as soon as we can so we can put it out on socials it's not guaranteed to be presented at the home game it might actually be the Cheltenham away game so we're just trying to get clarification on that and when we know I'll put it out on my Twitter and stuff so so yeah I think Overall today though, Abby, I think it was just job done, wasn't it? It wasn't the prettiest game. Um, Plymouth uh, put up a big fight and those early goals made them sort of lock up a little bit more as well. Mm. And ultimately it's about just getting the, getting the job done, isn't it? I mean, MK, we weren't managed to, didn't manage to get a goal, but today we, we got three goals and yeah. It's well, just, it, it did feel a lot like MK, like we didn't get as many goals as we deserved, definitely. We deserved at least like five and above, but do you know what? As long as we we've scored, so that's the thing. We've won and, and we've another got three clean points. sheet as well. And another clean sheet from Hannah. Yeah. I don't know how many she's on now. Probably a lot. But so yeah. last week with the result last week, Hannah's actually won the Golden Glove for the league. So that uh, congratulations to her. Thoroughly deserved. Um, she is an outstanding goalkeeper and an outstanding captain and role model as well. And we've just been chatting to her for about 10, 15 minutes an hour, haven't yeah. we? And she's a lovely lady and we're so honoured to have her as our as our captain. And yeah, I'm really pleased that she's going to get to go to that awards dinner and, and pick up that award. Okay, joined on the vlog by William. William, what are your thoughts on the game? When like Sophie Quirk scored, basically, they didn't count it. I'm just so well, sad. I think they felt she was offside, but we're not sure it wasn't. But yeah. did you enjoy that though? Yeah. And Sophie Quirk signed your shirt? Yeah. Which we show? <laughs> signed shirt. So Will's happy because he's got his shirt signed. But it's been a good season, isn't it, Will? Yeah. And we're going up. Yeah. So as always, thanks for joining us. Um, we've rocketed past 500 subscribers Thank recently. Uh, we really appreciate all the support. Um, we've doubled subscribers and doubled our uh, channel views this season alone. Oh it's been gosh. an amazing season for the channel and we really appreciate everyone and all their support. So yeah, hopefully should be able to vlog at Cheltenham. We don't normally have any issues there, so should be able to get you a match vlog. And of course we will be vlogging the last game of the season at home to London Bees. So, Thanks for joining us as always and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.